Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this video is going to be about swapping the handles on a refrigerator. Now, this is a Sears Kenmore refrigerator, and um, misdemeanor went ahead. Our, our, our refrigerator freezer died on us, and, um, and, and there's Chirp, my little green friend, making himself known. But here's the deal. Uh, we ordered this refrigerator, and if you look at the refrigerator, the handle's on the right-hand side, right? Um, that is medical right. So that's the left-hand side. It's as if you were in the refrigerator, don't go in the refrigerator. If you're in the refrigerator, the handle's on your left-hand side as you're looking out. That's not what we wanted. We wanted the handle on this side because the counter is right there. So we want the refrigerator open and just heave all our food on the counter and just go nuts. And that's the way we'd want to do it. But unfortunately, there was no diagram on the uh, Sears website to explain, hey, left side is right side and right side is left side. So that's... Manufacturers, make sure you give a description to the retailer to say, hey, the handle on the left is really on the right and the handle on the right is really on the left. It's really important to get to know that and make sure your retailer knows what you mean when you're talking about right and left when you want the handles on. Here's the issue. When the refrigerator was delivered uh, just a little while ago, just minutes ago, that's why I'm a big sweaty mess because I was outside collecting things for a fire uh, that we'll be doing later. But, the, um, but the, uh, the, the gentleman came in, did a fantastic job, great guys, great job and everything else, everything's fantastic, but they um, either are not allowed to or they're not, they don't do it or whatever, they don't swap the handles. The last time that Misdemeanor and I had purchased a refrigerator uh, and freezer unit, we bought it and they, did, they changed the handles for us right then and there. Uh, you know, things were opposite. Uh, we ordered it and they said they sent them out the same way, they're all the same way, and then they changed it at the, at the uh, home, but here, they won't change it, or they couldn't change it, wouldn't, wouldn't, shouldn't, couldn't, whatever, not faulting anybody, just saying that, hey, we ordered a certain way, you can order it one way or the other, you got to make sure you order it the right way. Now, what I want to talk about is I'm going to grab a handle over here, and this is the freezer handle, and the freezer handle is on there like that. There's a couple of screws on the top, you see the screw holes here, and um, there is this really great looking thing at the bottom, let me see if I can get this on the camera here, and if I can focus in. I don't know, hopefully it does. Now I'm using my video camera, not using my cell phone that I normally use on this one here. This is, there's a little um, kind of an Allen key here on the side. You go in from the side and you loosen it up and then you just slide this thing right off. So you take the two screws off the bottom first, all right, actually in this case on the top, and, or I'm sorry, this was on the bottom. This connects underneath here, okay, uh, on the freezer, and the top just slides right on there and it's on, you just tighten up that little Allen wrench, uh, Allen nut, whatever, and it's locked on, everything's fine and dandy, everything's great. You just loosen that up, loosen it up, loosen it up, and the thing just comes straight off. Very, very easy. I'm about to do the same thing on this. I've already loosened up the bottom. Let me tilt the camera down just a little bit, all right? Um, so I just, I've already loosened this up. You see it moving a little bit, hopefully. Um, if you're watching on a cell phone, maybe not so much. Now on the top, just like underneath up here, up under here, there's two uh, screws. I'm gonna remove those right now. So uh, we'll go through a couple of the tools real quick here while we go through it. But this is just basically a Phillips head uh, wrench, or a screwdriver, sorry. <laughs> too exciting. All right, so there's just two screws here. You're going to get to see misdemeanor's arm, maybe. Here, hold this screw for me. Let's see if we get her on camera. She refuses to go on camera. All right, so there's one. Now, the reason why I wanted misdemeanor to hold that for me was because I don't want to drop this thing. So let's go ahead and remove this one. Nice and easy. Now here's the thing on this one here. Um, just comes right off. Nice, huh? So I'm gonna hand the screw to her. I'm gonna put the handle over here on the counter. And hopefully none of our cats will come over and try to help right now. Now there's a, a very interesting, the nut right here uh, basically is just gonna slide over here. Now there is, uh, they come with a couple of covers on them. Okay, so these are these covers, but these are actually a little threaded piece of plastic. It's just that little pretty hole covering kind of thing, whatever. It has nothing to do with the form, fit, function, all that. It's just a pretty thing to cover up the little holes that we have. So now the next thing I'm going to do is these are also a huge Allen wrench. So you get a little Allen wrench kit here, and um, this is probably a pretty big one here. It is the biggest one I have. Bingo, bingo. All right, so that works there. And by the way, I never know what size these things are. I just try them till they fit. 
I have more too. Okay, so just one little quarter turn and this thing here is easy to take off with my fingers. Not taking off my fingers, folks. Just taking off with my fingers. That's a serious threaded nut there, right? And by the way, screws, nuts, bolts, and stuff, I have no idea what anything is. I just call it what I think it is at the time. So, thank you for not being critical. Critics get deleted. <laughs> All right. Just a little turn, nothing big. If you're forcing it, you're breaking it. All right? I think. I'm just going to just tighten this up just a little bit, just like when I, when I took them off. Just a little bit of a tighten, not much at all. My internal torque wrench is strong with me. Good, that didn't take much at all. Now I just put the handles right back on. Um, I don't need to take the doors off. I do need to take the doors off. I've got to move the hinges over, but I'm going to make another clip on that part of it. We can actually take the doors uh, off and move those hinges over. I also uh, want to snatch the camera off the tripod and show you what's on top and what we got to deal with because we're going to have to deal with something on the bottom as well which is just going to be too much fun. Let me see something on the bottom real quick here. Okay, the bottom one's going to be real fun. I'm actually going to videotape that. I'm going to record that one. I'm going to uh, show you what I have to do after the bottom because we have to elevate the thing and tilt it backwards because we actually have to swap the wheels out on that one for the bottom because the hinge is part of the wheel mechanism. And by the way, the wheels roll really nice. But let's go ahead and just change this top handle real quick. I want to see something on this. This would be absolutely fantastic. And I think they are. I just kind of noticed that these are the exact same shape and size. So luckily for me, I can't possibly screw this one up. Either handle will work in either position. So um, with that, let's go ahead and do the uh, bottom one first. I need two screws, Mr. Demeter. Is there screws? All right. We'll uh, hang on just a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. In consulting with my factory expert, Miss Demeter, we realize that we have to take these doors off now because the hinge here, the top hinge, and then there's a middle hinge. Both doors are connected to the middle hinge. What I'm hoping for, and I'll discuss it after the back end, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing and put misdemeanor on the camera because you need two people to do this operation so you don't mess up your door finish, you don't wanna mess that up. So what I wanna do is I wanna remove the top hinge and what I'm hoping for, and I'll tell you when we get back, is that the center hinge is just a, uh, a pin that I can just lift the door off with. That's what I'm hoping for. So we're gonna remove the freezer door first and then um, we're gonna do the bottom door. If uh, I might come back, I may or may not come back until both doors are off and tell you what happened uh, or I might come right back uh, in a couple of seconds. Either which way, the passage of time will be unknown to you. All right? The other thing is uh, I might show you right away that this was indeed a pin. All right? So stand by, uh, we're going to get this first door off and I'll come right back. <clears throat> Okay, we're back and uh, I just want to show you the top hinge that this thing sat on is indeed just a pin. I thought I was going to have to remove this part here too. Get it in the light here. All right, I thought I was going to have to remove this part here too, but I didn't. That just holds that pin on in place. There were three. Um, I used 10 millimeter. That's the thing telling us I'm just no, that I'm, I've got left the door open. <laughs> That's adorable. All right, yes, I'm leaving the door open. All right, so, uh, but anyways, the top part is a pin. This lower part, the center pin, is just indeed a pin itself as well. Uh, now you can see there's these two uh, bolts here, nuts, bolts, screws, whatever, folks. I mean, really, I'm not good at that. But these are about 10 millimeters uh, uh, or 330 seconds or whatever I think somebody said on uh, some instruction somewhere. But either which way, these will just come out or should just come out when I open this here door uh, all the way. I should be able to remove these. And then with the two of us working on this thing, holding it still and just lifting this up, this door off, and then we'll place it in a secure room where the cats can't have fun with it, and then uh, we'll come back, all right? So let's work on that, and then we'll work on reversing everything around, and we'll be right back with that. Hang on. Uh, okay, as you can see, we got the doors off. Now, I'm gonna snatch the camera off, off of the uh, tripod here for a minute, which means I'm pulling the battery, uh, the wire out. So let's take a look at this, all right? Up on top of the unit, uh, we have to remove this one bracket, and that was uh, this one here. All right, so we move that bracket, 
This bracket here is the center pin, all right? So that was the center pin that went right here. Let me see if I get my thing right. Okay, so that, that one's there. And then we also have to remove this one here. Now I was kind of kind of panicked about that because I thought that was a wheel under there. It looked like it was part of the, part of the wheel, but you see the wheel's actually under there, all right? And then there's another wheel right there. Uh, that's, that thing right there to the right is a glider. But that thing right there in the center, you know, to the left of the glider, if you can see it, is a wheel. And now um, this part here, I just need to take this part off and I can, I just put my hand in some lube, <laughs> yay. And then uh, I'm gonna move that over here. So that's it, basically the hardware that's here swaps places and comes over here, all right? Same thing in the center part, this hardware here. Now notice that this, this little pin right here, okay, this screw is actually higher, you know, it's like on the higher level of where this bracket thing is. And then this screw here actually looks slightly lower. And that's because this bracket here, right, you see it, I'm gonna have to flip it over. So it puts that screw in a different position. So we'll see how that works in a few minutes. And then um, let's see if we can get these doors back on. So basically all we have to do is slide the, the, the one on the left over to the right, mount the center one over to the right, and then, uh, uh, but not yet. Well, the first thing we have to do is once we get the left one over to the right, we can hang the door on there, but be ready to put the center one on because that's the top pin that holds the main door on, all right? So we'll come back after we get that done. Hey everybody, Ray Hayden here. I just want to make a note about that bottom hinge, okay? So there's a, there's a um, kind of a leveling device down here. Um, this pin at the top right here, this is a one quarter inch, according to my little, uh, according to my little ratchet set thing, this is a one quarter inch socket. Okay, right there. So the pin, this is what the door sits on. So it's really important that you move it from the one side here over to the other. So um, I was getting ready to torque down on this thing with the, I call them idiot wrenches, you know, channel locks, whatever. But this thing here comes off very, very easily uh, with uh, basically the one quarter inch. So you got to remember, move the pin over or your door is never going to shut right. Yeah, you know, so got the two, two places here, over here, uh, over here. And over here so it's really important move that pin over so you can get your door to close right all right so we'll be back here in a second thanks all right Ray Hayden back here again this is the center pin and hinge right so it was misdemeanors already put the covers over thank you misdemeanor anyway so uh, we've had it like this but you know, our thought was, well, we just flip it over. Something's wrong here. That something's not just right. You know, I mentioned the fact that the screws look a little funny, a little different, whatever, and that may be true. But the same thing works here as it did on the lower one. Take a quarter inch socket, we put it in here, and we turn it. And this is great. Watch this thing here. This pin actually comes out, and it's the whole pin. The whole thing's. It's got the screw part and everything else. Just put it in on the other side, and you've reversed it. Right? That's pretty easy. So that, that, and it, and it, it doesn't, it's not a, it's not an arm breaker to get the thing off, right? It's uh, and don't over torque it. Don't over torque it. Okay. Just be nice. You just want to hold your fridge door in place and the freezer door as well. All right. So now we're going to flip it over, uh, get it on the other side and see uh, how things work. Now it is, uh, it is, I do want to mention that you do flip the thing over. Cause like the one side is like this. You notice there's that little ridge right there. So it's not the same shape, right? So we flip it over, things are a little bit different. Let me come over here for a second. And they line up. So the screws line up. So that's really important. <laughs> it's really important if you want your hinge to work, right? So, uh, and this hinge, we don't have to worry about it. Just we flip it over the other side and put, and put the screw part in the other side and everything fits great. Now we take, um, are these the two screws for this? All right. So we take our, we take our, our, our two screws and we put it back in place. Matter of fact, um, we can't really do that 100% yet because we actually have to put the door on the bottom hinge. The door has to be resting. The, the door weight will be held by that bottom hinge down there. And then we can take, while that we're holding the door, I'm not going to show that part because it's a two-person job there to make sure it's nice. And you don't want to hear all that screaming anyway. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and put that door back on and uh, balance it in place. I'll show you when the bottom door is on and then we'll show you when, as we're putting the top door on, on as well. But uh, the middle hinge goes on with the door. Okay, it has to go on with the door because 
There's no other way you're getting this thing in there. It's not a spring mount or anything. Anyway, so we'll be right back with that part. All right, there's one more thing that I want to make sure that I tell you about. This is the bottom of the refrigerator, okay? This is the bottom of the refrigerator door here, all right? This is what that pin sits on. So the, the whole door has to sit on this pin, okay? This whole part here has to be switched over to this part here, okay? So I need to move that from that side of the fridge over to here, and it's just basically two, uh, two simple screws to move that over. So I'll show you that when I get it done, oh, uh, moved over. Okay, I've moved the device over here. Now, this is what the pin sits on, right here. So the pin sits on this. This was over here, okay? This big hole over here, so everything's reversed, okay? So when I move this over, okay, well, I had to take the pin, this thing here out, okay? So I had to take this out and move it over to the left side from the right. It has these little pins here that line everything up in this other circle so you can line everything up, okay? So now I'm gonna put these, uh, these two screws back in. Okay, the same be said, this is a freezer door, okay? So on the freezer door, we get the same deal. We got something over here that will accept this piece right here, okay? Now this has this funny little lock thing on it or whatever. We have to make sure that when I move this thing over to this side, that I reverse everything over. That means everything has to be reversed, okay? Everything has to be reversed. So good reason to make a video about something while you're doing it. So you make sure you reverse everything properly, all right? So I'm gonna show you this. Hopefully it'll be exact reverse over on this side over here, all right? So I'll show you that when I'm done. Okay, well hopefully that's the exact reverse thing. I'll look at it in the video. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work and I know I did something wrong. The screw is the only thing that you had to remove. So here's the screw hole, screw hole right here. This large uh, hole right here is where the pin is going to go. And you need this sleeve, this little plastic sleeve. So you swap the sides on that and you just slide this whole metal thing over to the other side. Reverse this pin. The screw comes out. Take this big plastic piece right here. Just turn it around the other direction, which is what I did, hopefully. And then this should fit in here like that. I just want to make sure that that is correct. I'm going to actually review my video to make sure I have this pin set up exactly right because it seems to me like this should be over here somewhere. So we'll see that in a minute. Okay, I did want to make a note about that. I did have this actually uh, incorrectly placed. There are a couple of things in here to tell you, you know, there's this little square thing here that this rests on and there's a little pin right here that sticks out further. That would be this pin right, uh, where is it? right here, all right? Kind of gives you the indication that you need to kind of get that uh, hole on that pin. And I imagine that's for support of the door while you're opening and closing it on top of the other one, just in case or something like that. I'm not really sure, but it's there and we want it there. All right, so now we're gonna try to go ahead and put the main door on because we had to replace this part and this part right here to be on the opposite sides. This is the bottom of the main door, okay? And we need to get this to sit on the pin, and then we can put the center mount back on. All right, so hang on a second. We'll get ready for that. All right, we're heading back here again, and I'm going to uh, be attaching this. It's a threaded, a little plastic threaded. It's just for beauty. It has no function or anything else other than covering up these little holes. But I'm going to put this one on. This one here you screw on. Some of them just snap in. These ones here have the threads on them, so you got to screw in. Ironically, that didn't take very much at all. Just screwed right in. All right, so uh, the, the main door is on, and now misdemeanor, and no, by the way, we had to, had to install the center bracket while we were putting that door on, so that was fun. Nobody needs to hear that kind of screaming and yelling, mostly from misdemeanor. <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, but anyways, we had to put the center bracket on. We had to put the door on the lower bracket, then put the center bracket on, right, for the pins, and now we're gonna do the same thing. For, well, we actually, we, for the top one, we have to do the same kind of thing too. We have to kind of attach the top pin as well, because they're pins and they're not like springy ones that snap into place and hold everything on. And I, what about the security on those? I don't think it'd be as secure anyway. So, uh, and then we'll do that with the top door and then we will attach the handles and we're all done, right? Easy peasy. <laughs> all right, see you in a minute. 
Okay, so before we put the top door back on, we're going to remove this hinge one more time because there's a little gap below the hinge and up above the door. And that's where I believe this little guy here goes. And the way we found out that this is pretty much went under the hinge, though I want to throw misdemeanor under the bus on that one, because uh, I remember her just, you know, the thing was sitting on top of the door and she snatched it off. And after I removed the door, it was like still sitting there, so, which means it would go underneath this thing, which makes sense because there's a gap there that's just about the right size for this. Now this has a little bit of an indent. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that on camera. Let me see if it shows up there. It, yeah, you, there's a little bit of a ridge on the inside on both sides there. So, you know, it's not really pushing down on this washer onto the top of the door from the bottom, from the hinge and all that. It's just a spacer, just, you know, I guess for pretty, you know, because you can see that, you know, and you really can't see a child might, but a little kid, you know, might not be able to, you know, see that. So anyway, so we're going to take that hinge off and put this underneath that hinge uh, for the spacer where I believe it belongs. We'll know soon enough. Now, the way we found this again is because we put the top door on, and the top door didn't sit low enough for the top hinge to be there, which would mean this spacer needs to be below, not above. <laughs> All, right. All right, so we're back. We're gonna put the two handles back on. If you remember at the beginning of this video, the two handles are the, maybe it'd be plastic. Anyways, they're metal. So, um, but they're the same exact shape, size, dimension, everything else. So it doesn't matter which one you put on top or the bottom, which is good. I actually kind of personally like it when things are effective, efficient, work well, and um, you know, are we've got open source. You don't have to sit there and buy a specialized part. That really angers me. I don't like that at all. Anyway, so the bottom part is gonna be this little screw, the uh, Allen wrench thing. I just gotta tighten it up when I'm done. But this just slides straight on, okay? Slides straight on, that screw, is a t it's just a tension screw. It just tightens it up and holds it on nice and tight. And then uh, the two screws on the top, which I have here in my hand, and we're going to put those on now. This just slides on, nice and easy, and then these two screws will go, uh, it's going nice, it's just nice and easy. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and tighten these up, and I'm going to do the other one on top. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up on this one here after I get a couple more finishing touches. There is a top cover. Now, what this is for is when we move the top hinge over from the one side to the other, um, we had to pull this cover off. It's just a little, you know, uh, dust cover kind of thing or whatever. That goes over here, so we'll just put that on top. All right, so that there is on top and that's good to go. Then we have just two more pretty things to put on. You know, just, you know, we don't care really. It's just, you know, you're gonna see that there was something there, but it's just a little white cover thing. This one here screws in, like on the bottom part. Actually, they kind of slide in a, a lot, but you just get a little, most of it slid in. <laughs> but if you turn it, you can actually feel it twerking up. You know, lock it into place, and that's good. Now this other little pin, um, there's only two, two of them that they give you that I saw, and that goes uh, in a funny place. It goes right here on top, where we put the two screws in for the top handle, because we removed them, right? Over on the other side, those just pop right in and just sit right there. I guess gravity's gonna do the job on that, right? So there we go, moving it from the, uh, the left handle, which is on the right side of the refrigerator, opening towards the left, right? Just to throw more confusion, we, uh, Misdemeanor and I were able to move it all over, and it took us, what, about three, four minutes maybe? Yeah, peasy, easy peasy, right? Now, it took us a little bit of time because we don't know exactly what we're doing 100%, um, but this, I'd have to say, on the level of difficulty is uh, on a scale of one to 10, I'd say this is probably about a three or a four. You know, about a, about a three or a four on that. Misdemeanor, give me a thumbs up, she agrees. Speaking of thumbs up, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video, good banter, huh? Uh, drop a note below, let me know you came by to say hey. And uh, let me know what you think about this. Hopefully it was helpful to you. Uh, most refrigerators will be sort of kind of the same thing. A lot of them use generally similar principles and able to get the, you know, to get the job done. And I really wish I made a uh, repair video on the microwave oven, which is behind the camera there, 
when that blew out in a, uh, a fuse blue and we went to uh, the big box Home Depot store kind of thing and uh, I, I want to say the actual name of the place to, to show you where we went to and we asked around for the fuses on the uh, for the microwave they said no we don't have them and then misdemeanor and I went and found it and then we went back and told the employee where they were so um, but anyways uh, it is what it is you know sometimes it depends on our own research to get the job done motivation dedication determination get the job done right and we believe we got the job done right here. So, uh, you know, again, give me that thumbs up. Uh, make the uh, comment below. Let me know you came by to say hi. And until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.